So I'm back in the dome and I've come to do a interior varnish like stain coat. So I'm gonna use a medium oak and hopefully it will then even out the coloring on the floor and um, look a bit more luxurious. So um, let's crack on. And I've got my helper involved. So um, she's having a go at varnishing, doing an excellent job. I had my other helper too, but I told her to stop because she shouldn't shouldn't be doing too much. Yeah, go on, dip then. Um, that's the bit I haven't done. That's the bit I have done. So although it probably looks a bit patchy now, I think it will look a lot better. And then we can get some furniture in here. Our next job for the dome is to sort out the door of the kitchen shed. So a while ago we had some really bad wind. The whole door just like blew open and then it whacked really hard on this post and it's all completely shot to pieces. So I'm gonna take the door off and I just got the company that we got the shed from to make a new door. And so we're gonna try and stick that on. Okay, so we've replaced the, um, the dodgy bit of trim now and secured it a bit more with a few screws and I've got to try and hang a door and I'm never a fan of hanging the door. Generally, it's a bit of a faff. But um, we shall try it. Let's see where the let's offer it up, Brian. So light. Okay, let's hope so. Screw it in. Job done, right? So Brian was far too forceful and has managed to snap the screw off. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. It's got nothing to do with me being forceful. It's got to do with the screws being not fit for purpose. Okay, so how are we going to? What are we going to do about that then? Nothing. Or leave it like that? Yeah, that's fine. It's got two screws in there, and I'm using big, bigger screws anyway. Right. I know it's not the right type of screw, but it will work. It'll do the job. Okay. It can make sure that the door works. Okay, moment of truth. Does the door work? Ta -da. Oh, there's a drill in the way. <laughs> okay. Yes, it does work. Success. Excellent. We started um, doing a few more finishing touches to the dome. Um, we've replaced this bit with some decking so that we don't get any ingress of water underneath. Um, and well, Daryl, the lovely carpenter, did that along with putting a proper lock on it. And we have also started building some of the furniture. So let's go inside. So we now have a nice brand new old creamery double bed and we've gone for some bunk beds here which i thought would be quite fun for the kids and also we've got a trundle underneath so that we can um sleep five which is good i mean this was a flat pack nightmare obviously but we made it then i went and got this lovely chesterfield um which is gonna be so lovely just to sit and look at the view right annabelle enough sitting around let's go and get the mattresses in so next we've got to take the mattresses up. I have my uh, helper here to find a rather comfy bed in the back of the car. Um, so I'm going to take them up to the dome and uh, start getting it more homely. Oh nice grass. I made this macrame plant pot holder um, back in, must have been about January with my friend Dominie. Um, so the following video shows you how to make it. Obviously this is pre-March 2020 lockdown, so we're not social distancing um, because we didn't know what was gonna happen then. Um, so here is the video on how to make your very own macrame plant pot holder. So we've got eight four meter lengths. Um, and we put them through the ring, sort of hanging either side. And we're going to make our first knot with a one metre length. All right. So we're going to loop it up and round. And we're going to just go round. And then when we've got a few centimetres left at the bottom, we're going to put this through the loop and then just pull upwards. There we go, and it kind of hides in there. 
and then we're going to cut these two short. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take four of our strands and we're going to hang the rest out of the way. So we're going to take these four and we're going to use these two side two. So this one is going to go over, over and then under and this fourth one is coming up and through that side and then you're just going to work that knot to the top like so. And then we're going to do it again, we're going to move it over, over, under I'm going to bring that one through, work it up to the top and we're going to do that 25 times. So we've done really well, we're almost at the bottom, so I'm just going to finish off the bottom. So we're just putting this up here and making a loop and then winding it around and round and round, exactly the same as way as we did the top. And you'll be able to sit your plant in the middle. So we're in the depths of flat pack furniture building. We've built a double bunk with a trundle bed. We've built a double bed that was quite easy to build. We've built a tub chair, sort of just put the feet on. And we've now got two bedside tables to build. And Brian and I are gonna have a race as to who can, who is the best flat packer and who can build the quickest bedside table. Ready, steady, go. Brian won. Um, clearly I'm a lot slower, but also I did have to dash down and take the cake out of the oven. Um, but we've hit a snag in that my top no. Or should it have four holes? Oh, so I don't have four holes. Um, I'm sure we've got a drill somewhere. I'll just drill another couple of holes. Anyway, nearly done. But yeah, Brian won. Bedside tables are now done, thank goodness. And I've just started putting some bedding on because we're going to plan on having a sleepover in here. Um, although some children seem to have commandeered my bed. Um, so I'm just going to put some bedding on here. And um, we also got to do the wood burner. So we're going to have to get a professional company in to come and install the wood burner because in the yurts we've got places to clamp it to whereas in here we don't so we need a specific flue that supports its own weight so we will be sorting that out hopefully in the next week um but other than that it's nearly done mum you have to try this it's so snuggly so here it is the finished dome all ready for us to have a sleepover in later it's going to be Ferguson Dome because we've got New Holland yet and Deer yet and so we needed another tractor type so that's Ferguson. Wood burner yet to do but otherwise it is done.